Today, guys, we're going to take RGB to a whole new level. Introducing this one from Yeelight, and it's called the Yeelight Cube Smart Lamp Matrix. So what can this stuff do? We'll find it out after this quick intro. So you can see that we have several boxes here on my table. And this is the master box that I have here in my hand. And inside this one, it has the host. And these are basically the expansion modules that you need to attach to the main host. Now you can see that it supports Apple Home, Google Home, and it also supports Alexa. And it has a free build design and it supports PC gaming as well. Some specs here on the side, you can see that it's free build and design, ARGB multicolor, PC screen and game sync, music sync, dynamic lighting, and desktop control. And it will make your desk look something like this. And it looks really awesome. How about let's open. We have your adapter. We have your first cube over here. And we also have your base. This is basically the uh, host for all of these cubes here. Just have to put it like this, magnetic base. And you're pretty much good to go. Here at the back, it's where you plug in your power. And here up front, it's a touch-sensitive power button. And on top of every cube, you can see it's attachable and at the base we can see some pins over here we basically have three design of cubes one is a matrix finish cube the other is a panel extension cube and the last one is a spot extension cube all of these cubes makes me feel crazy there's so many of them okay it's time to build the blocks just like lego so what i want is attaching to my base is this one the spot lamp then we'll put on the matrix one this one is the panel lamp. Five. Good. Next is to power up. So once that I plug in this one, we need to press the power button for five seconds to put it on reset mode and pairing mode. And pair it with my Yeelight Station app. Plug. Hold. One, two, three, four, and five it will blink blue like this one and right now it's on pairing mode so right now we've entered my station here and let's try to navigate uh pressing the plus sign up there and you need to scan the qr code which is present on the main box before i forget it's also pairable with razor chroma so you'll be scanning this qr code which is found on the manual of your host so scanning like this then you'll need to enter the password of the router and right now it's trying to connect so we just need to uh, give it a name like or let's just make it simpler gs cube that's better so uh, you can also give it a LAN control property so right now we're inside so we can try to do some music flow over here in case you just want to listen to some music over here. So you can see that this one is dancing to the beat of the music. It looks really nice. And probably it's nice when you're doing some music tripping just beside your PC or you're uh, doing some music tripping just using your mobile phone. Okay, so let's go to the other function that we can have here. So there's a lot of things to do. Uh, like uh, you can check all of the lighting effects over here. So you have streamer, you have starry sky like this one. You have spectrum. You have waves like this, which looks cool. You also have rainbow. Then waterfall looks like matrix. Don't you think? And Aurora. Aurora. Ooh, there you are. We also have Bonfire, which looks like flames. And this is Pinball. Kind of cute. Meteor. Yeah. This one is I like. Tide. And 
building blocks like Tetris and hacking. Well, yeah, looks like a hacker to me. Okay, so we can do some. Uh, you can press this. G, uh, you can press this cube here, and uh, position the power supply. So, yeah, just uh, just see. My first one is the spot lamp, then it's followed by four. It's followed by four matrix, and we end it with a panel lamp. So, uh, pressing done. Uh, you can start to create something that you want over here. And yeah, we can use clocks. One of our uh, go to theme. So right now, you can see that it's uh, showing the clock over here. Let's see now. Okay. So I'll try to flip it over for you, to, for you to see it clearly. There, looks better. Better. Okay, the clock is just one of the many things that this one can do. So, uh, we'll be uh, trying other function that it can have. So, yeah, you can connect it to Twitch and you can connect it to YouTube. Okay, so, uh, buying YouTube account. So, let's just say Gadget Psychic. Let's see what, what it does. So let's mine it. So it's bound to my account. So I wonder what it does. So right now, I think it's showing something. And I think it's showing how many subscribers we currently have on YouTube. So this is the YouTube button. And we, yeah, it's a uh, we have 221,774, I guess, uh, viewer, uh, subscribers right now on my channel, which kind of looks cool. Then we can customize the color depending on your taste. Let's say I want green, I uh, want blue, or I want purple or pink. It's up to you. So. Uh, we can also create some artworks over here, just like this. Let's just say we want a green artwork. Okay, so uh, we want our spotlight to be green. Then we want our matrix light to be, let's just say, pink. Okay. We can fill in, depends on you, okay, so it looks fine, it looks cool, and it's very much customizable. You can, can move over to the next one. We want, let's say, orange on some sides. Okay, let's just put it like that way. Okay, so the next one, we want yellow. Okay. Fill it with yellow dots, which is kind of cool. And the last matrix, we want to fill it with a color purple. See, purple. Okay. So, fill it with purple dots. You'll see it's filling up on its own, just the way you control it. There. And of course, the last one, let's say I want. It's something like white. Okay. The panel light. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's, uh, we can save this graffiti. Save it to GS key, for example. So, this is basically, uh, this is basically my personal uh, customization for the D like cube. You can use some community artwork should you like, or you can create on your own. It's of course always best when you do it on your own. So you can also customize some of these other stuff here, like building blocks, and I can customize the color. You can change the brightness depending on your taste. 
But I would probably prefer it to be on a clock mode or on my uh, personal uh, display mode for my channel. So yeah, it depends on your taste. Anything goes here. It's really perfect for your table. Of course, your uh, gaming computer table. It's definitely a good add-on. Now, guys, if you want to know where I bought this one, I'll be linking on the description box below. And this one is called the Yeelai Cube Smart Lamp. I hope you find this video interesting. A sub to this channel would be perfect. I'll see you in the next one. And so, I'm Parasa Richmon, and you're watching Gadget Psychic. What's up? Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the Dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.